Hey my beauties, so welcome back. If you all are new here, welcome to the channel. So I am back with another makeup reset video. This is going to be a long one. I'm super excited. Usually when I do my makeup reset videos, I'm usually like reorganizing like my makeup drawers and stuff like that. But it is time to go through these eyeshadow palettes. And we're just going to be going through my palettes and I'm probably going to do like a slight declutter. I don't know how much I'm going to get rid of, but we shall see. There's like glitter everywhere, so I do have some wipes here on deck. I right over here, I have my Nika K palettes from the Beauty Supply Store. And every single last one of them, I am keeping. So I have the Nika K Lucky Charm palette. I have the Nika K Sugar Plum. I have Under the Sea Birthday Cake. I have Mocha Mix. Um, I have Ocean Eyes. Um, love it. It's a nice blue shadow eyeshadow. I have oh honey Watermelon watermelon is another one that's kind of lacking pigmentation, but you know, I keep it for I actually can't get rid of it to be honest. But I want to keep it because it's part of the collection <laughs> um, Let me see what else I got in here. Then I have these Nika K palettes. I have lilac twinkle and then I have blue Hawaiian no, sorry, Blue Hawaii, Rose Latte, I have Malibu Nights, I haven't tried this one yet. Then I have Peach Me, I did mention this in my fall palette recommendation video. I have Goldie Glam, another pretty palette. This is another nice fall palette if you're looking for some affordable fall palettes. And then I have the Sahara Gold palette um wild wild mats but it's not even open <laughs> it's so fun going through your eyeshadow palettes because you know you kind of see what you got and what you don't need and then i got jungle haze girl this ain't open either girl you try this oh my god i didn't know the tape was it the tape was still on these two so i need to try these okay i'm gonna sit down because my neck was hurting oh then i got poison apple up oh, now Okay, I'm going to change my shirt because <laughs> I wouldn't want to sit here and look at him the whole time. So, let me put something on, child. Here's one more. I got Autumn Spice. So, so far, I'm keeping all of those, of course. And then over here, I have Ruby Kisses. So, this is the Madagascar Forest. I got Mint Gum. Then I got Waukegi Beach red velvet i'm keeping every single last one of these grape jelly candy pop the brown is nice we oh look at that green that's nice we'll keep jade Let's see what jade talking about now coral okay we'll keep those white and I got the Ruby Kisses Pumpkin Spice. And then these are from Magic Collection. I know I have another one. So this one is Canyon Clay. This one is Pale Blush. And Magic Collection is from the Beauty Supply. I know there's another one in here. I just don't know where it's at. Okay, so far as these Ruby Kisses palettes here... Um, this is the Ruby Kisses Aquarius and then Leo. I think, I don't know if I should put these with my glitters. I'm going to put these with my glitters, but I am going to keep those. Yes, ma'am. Keeping my Dior palettes. Moving along. Morphe. I just got this. I found this at, well, I got it like a month or two ago, I guess. I found it at Marshall, so I'm going to keep that. Um, Dose of Colors keeping this one i gave my other one away um i'm gonna give this away ah okay give me a reason declutter and and it's going in the garbage for sure keeping this this is bay like i don't even know why they discontinued this like this is bay i'm about to hit uh, i'm about to hit pan on this one as you guys can see, I hit pan on that one. Oh, this is a blush. What is that doing in here? This LA Colors Malibu palette. I want to swatch this shade right here. Oh, it's... 
Ooh, girl, sh shut up. Look at that dollar damn tree. That's the end. Got another LA Colors. I don't know where my scissors. We got another LA Colors palette. This one is called. This one is called Cherry Tart. Let's see. Ooh. Wow. Ooh, let's do this shade right here. Okay. This is nice. Ooh. I'll do this one up here. I already know this is gonna hit. Oh baby girl. Like, stop playing with them. I'm keeping that. Keeping all of my ColourPop palettes with this here packaging. They don't sell these in them. They don't sell these anymore. This was their like neutral line. So yeah, I'm keeping all of them. They're in here somewhere. I have this Egypt quad. I don't I don't know where I got that. Maybe I got it from Marshalls or something. Um but I keep it. Oh, I got another one of those LA colors. I'm gonna keep the Beauty Creation Nude X. I like this palette. This is Ooh, I like that. We're gonna keep that. Um, definitely keeping the Magic Collection Safari palette. So I don't think they. I haven't seen them at the beauty supply store lately, but they're so pretty. I don't know. I don't even think they're on their website anymore. So if your beauty supply store sells them, I recommend to pick them up. Like the camera is washing it out. Is these colors are really dark. It's a really rich palette. Um, ColourPop. This is why I need to reorganize this stuff everywhere. Keeping this one, I like that. Another ColourPop palette. Elf, keeping Elf. Keeping that Elf. Keeping Elf again. Wet in the Wild. Which one is this? This is Walking on Eggshells. Um, it's not even open. Do I need that? We're going to put this to the side. And then this one is Sundays. I keep Sundays. That's pretty. This one is pretty. My Lucky Charm, I keep that. And then this is the Morphe 3 Pure Nude 3B. I think I had this for a while. I'm going to keep that. I do like it. And then I'm going to keep this one from Morphe as well. So those are cute. The LA Colors little palettes. Oh, the light is just pissing me off. I'm sorry. LA Colors, Little Palace from Dollar Tree. Let's swatch. Girl. That's nice. Ooh, these are pigmented. <gasps> this is from LA Colors. This is the Heat Palette. Girl, stop playing. Ooh, this whole palette is, oh my God. These little palettes is hitting. Look at that creamy white shade. Beautiful. I was looking for this. This Natasha Denona Baby Gold palette, whatever it's called. Baby, I'm cold. I don't know. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm keeping that. Natasha Denona Glam Face palette. So her, I need a warm palette. Like, why, I don't understand why she didn't put these colors in there. With cosmetics, I'm pretty sure I picked this up from Marshall's um I think this was on clearance one day I keep it it's cute I keep it and I, I like her packaging too all right now all right elf I have all right let me start getting my wipes because now I see the glitter that wasted everywhere okay this is the Too Faced Secret Santa palette this is cute. We're going to keep that. This is the Wet n Wild Fantasy Palette. And this is, what is this one called? Fantasy Maker. Pick Your Poison. And this has some really pretty colors in there. Like, that is pretty. Oh, here's another Ruby Kisses Palette. Creme, Creme Brulee. Here's the other. This one is my favorite, right? Yeah. This is the... This is from, um, what's that place called? Magic Collection. <laughs> More ColourPop palettes. Like I said, I'm keeping all of them that is in this here packaging. 
so yeah keeping the only thing that I'm not going to show you guys is my Halloween eyeshadow palette so I'm not showing you guys that and I'm not telling you why but you should probably already get a hint <laughs> keeping Cara Beauty I just got that um, here's another Malibu palette I can give that away nope I need to make sure I'm picking up the, the correct wipe but I'm going to give this away I have this palette from Five Below from W7. This is the Sweet Brown Sugar Palette. This is from Five Below. And I'm going to keep that. I'm going to play around with that. Then I have another one. This one is called Coco from Five Below. So that's pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I have this, I don't remember where I got this from, this Huda Beauty Amethyst Obsessions palette. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to keep it though. Then I have this Huda Beauty Matte palette. Oh, so pretty. Oh my God. That's cute for fall. Um, you know what? I'm thinking about re, I'm thinking about getting BoxyCharm again. I used to have BoxyCharm, but I'm thinking about getting, getting BoxyCharm for, just for, the last months of the year so I'm thinking about October November December I might do September October November December but I'm thinking about just October November December like the, those three months so if you still have BoxyCharm comment comment down below but this one is the nude rich palette I, I haven't used this I thought I used this oh my god I need to keep that out. I thought I tried that before. I think it's this one, the Huda Beauty Toffee Palette. Yeah, this is the one I've used. And this one kind of reminds me of Creme Brulee, Creme Brulee from Ruby Kisses. I don't even know where it's at. I just had it. Okay. So here is Ruby Kisses Creme, Bru Creme Brulee. And then here is Huda Beauty. So it's some similarities with the yellow then you got your browns um how the beauty doesn't have a black and this one is the ulta beauty sunset skies that's a nice little rich palette so i'm keeping that and pretty much everything i knew everything in this drawer i was going to keep okay this one has all that glitter on here so I'm going to keep this one. I have this one is the BH Emerald palette. I'll keep it because I'll be a fool. Oh, not me dropping it. Um, keeping, um, I have this Milani. I wanted this so bad. This Milani eyeshadow quad I got from Marshalls. Um, it's pretty pigmented, like this brown. Like, that's the most I ever seen. Milani. Oh. Shut the front door and lock it while you're at it. I had decluttered this, but I brought it back. This is um, from Beauty Creations with Yvette. The packaging is so cute. Um, it just every time I swatch it, it just changes my mind. Like this color right here, like look at that. And then it's brown like you can't tell me oh yeah I'm sorry I'm gonna have to keep that I got these from Dollar Tree um okay let me I don't think they were that pigmented I mean the colors are cute from color from Dollar Tree the colors are cute coming from Dollar Tree but I don't think yeah they're not that pigmented I'm gonna put those to the side I'm gonna keep this Lottie I'm keeping this Lottie London palette. The, oh my God, the colors in here are everything. So I'm keeping that. What's up, beauty? I'm keeping this one. I, I like this palette. Here's another one of those Magic Collection palettes. This is from Timu. Can declutter this. Malibu Sunrise. Here are some more. Ooh, what's this? Truffles. 
Oh my God, the glitter. Can y'all see that? I don't think you guys can. Okay. And then this one, this is Isaiu. Isaiu. I'm going to keep that. I'm going to keep it. <laughs> um, I'm keeping this um, Nika K palette. This Nubian Juvia's palette. This is cute. Um, I mean, I don't need it. First, I'm gonna put all of my Nika K palettes together. I'm not gonna have it like that. I'm just trying to get everything together as a couple. So yeah, Ruby Kisses. Not as a couple, but as a, a brand. Um, Ruby Kisses, Ruby Kisses, Ruby Kisses. Okay, so this is what I've done so far with my palettes. So these are mainly like my smaller palettes. Like these are mostly beauty supply store. Now, now, now. These are mainly beauty supply store. And then I have some Huda Beauty and my Dior and stuff over there. Then I have Elf, ColourPop, LA Colors, and some other wet and wild and other brands and stuff like that now as i go through the rest of my drawers this will change maybe because i have pa i have palettes scattered everywhere this is reminding me of like cd cases <laughs> this whole section is given cd case so it's the next day we did the first drawer already we reorganized everything now we're on to the second drawer i am missing some nails so 
mind your business so let's get into it so this drawer is was consist of like ColourPop, morphe and then i had all of my juvia's places i i think i kind of want to this time around instead of like doing it by brand and by the shape of the palette i kind of want to put like all of my colorful palettes together and then like all of my neutral palettes together i don't know how that would work gotta keep the warrior palette like that's a yes and then this is the warrior 2 I mentioned that in my fall palette and then the coffee shop we're gonna keep that as well what else we got going? oh yeah we're keeping the nomad I love this shade right here that is the best wait a minute stay up okay that's the best shade right here i have like a dent in here like i love that shade then we have the saharian palette i don't really reach for this oh it's like brand new i don't know if i picked this up or if it came in like a box i don't know i don't really reach for this one but i'm gonna keep it um, the Juvi, not Ju, uh, of course it's Juvia's, but the Nubian palette, and then we have the Nubian Earth, and what else we got, girl? We got Honey. Oh, that's pretty. Bronze Rusted palette, and then we have the Olori One palette. That is really pretty. Um, the Fula palette. Um. So we're gonna put that to the side. All right, this is the BH Optimistic AF. I got it from Marshalls for $4.99. And like, I just kind of want to keep like BH products because it's like, you know, the authentic products from them because you, know, you can't get those anymore because you know, they're under a new brand. So <laughs> I'm gonna keep that keeping my artist couture palette so this one is the quickie palette nice and neutral and then this one is the matte masterpiece and then this one is my favorite the supreme nudes i love this palette this is from cara beauty this is the amour palette i love the color story so i'm gonna hang on to that a little bit and then i'm gonna keep this one the road trip palette road tripping from Cara Beauty Colourpop setting stone I think this is like more like a cool tone palette oh no it's not that's pretty I'm gonna keep that definitely keep this face candy palette for oh now it's broken um for memories if you guys remember was it what was that app called was it called hush Oh my god, I used to love that app. So this is from Face Candy, the Atlantis palette. It's when Tarte came out with that April Fool's palette and Face Candy said, well, I'll do it since you're not doing it. The Bad Habit Aphrodite palette I'm going to keep as well um, for memories. And that brand was the first brand that gave me like a, a huge PR package when it came to makeup and I have the chocolates once again we have these BH um, palette I like that color story the Too Faced chocolate gold palette I love this hair palette this is my favorite color in here
another like neutral palette. This is from Cara Beauty. This is the Morphe Times Meredith Duxbury, I guess, palette. Let me swatch this. What the heck is this? Keeping this. No, it's broken. The box. Glam light. Oh my god. That is absolutely gorgeous. Like you can't deny that. Um, Amazon girl. <laughs> the Anastasia. Okay. Anastasia. Let me just throw this box away because this is just giving up, child. This is Jackie Ina. This is the Gone Matte palette. Now, yeah, so that can go in there. This this next drawer right here, this drawer that I'm taking everything out, it's broken. And I'm gonna try to see if I can fix it so I can utilize it. Um, this is a nude palette from Kiss. So we're gonna keep that. That's when I do beauty supply store videos. ColourPop Twist of um, Slate. This is a cool tone. Palette. I'm gonna keep this because it this is a nice cool tone palette and it has um, it's pigmented actually the colors in here are really creamy so look at that so it's it's hard to find a cool tone palette that is creamy and pigmented and it has a brown in here so I can use that and then the shimmers in here are nice I mean at this point I guess I'm not gonna use it the colors in here are beautiful like the pigmentation is Ooh, like look at those browns and but I just I just don't know I haven't used it by now what you gonna do then I have the give me glow Christmas morning palette this palette is currently on sale on their website so if you always wanted this palette go on their website give me glow and pick it up this palette is from absolute New York um this is kind of like a warm palette. So like I said, I don't know if I'm going to mix my warms and neutrals together. The BH Studio Pro Ultimate Neutrals Palette. This for sure is not going anywhere. Y'all, this is the... I think this is one of BH's, one of BH Cosmetics best palettes. The formula on here, so the, the formula is creamy matte soft shimmers and metallics the mattes in here are i just don't understand they're creamy then we have unearthly cosmetics omg i forgot to mention this I forgot to mention this in my video. I'm going to see if I can. Damn. Well, I forgot to mention this in my Blocktober video. <laughs> um, I'm not. So, like I said before, I'm not showing. Sure, I don't know. I think I mentioned that I'm not showing you guys my Halloween eyeshadow palettes. Because I'm doing that for Blocktober. And I totally forgot this. This is why I'm organizing my makeup. My eyeshadow palettes. But, well, it's here. <laughs> This is the unearthly warms my blood. I'm gonna see if I can add it in there. And I don't, I don't, I didn't add this in there because I didn't, I don't really know if this considered Halloween. So I did look at it, but I just didn't know. But um, God, Lord Jesus, I forget. And I have the smoky hot. So let me see what this look like. Oh, that's pretty. That's a pretty palette. Okay, as you guys can see, I'm keeping majority of everything. Okay, we have the Be Perfect Carnival Antidote Palette. Luna Magic. Then I have this Luna Palette, Luna Magic, when they first like came to Target. Keeping my MAC, I don't think they sell us anymore, the Flamboyant Palette. But keeping that empowered palette from Huda. That's a must. Pretty grunge. Beauty Bay Wilderness. Then I have Beauty Bay Berries. 
I'm just running through these because like I said, I'm mainly just trying to organize. I got Max Selena. Then I got Jacqueline Hill Divi Divine Neutrals. So that is a neutral palette. I got Glam Light Frosted Flakes. That is, I'm gonna keep this. This is so pretty. Um, I have this Pat McGrath, I think it's Celestial, yeah, Nirvana, Melt Cosmetic 27 palette. I'm gonna keep that. This is heavy. I got the Nude Ambition palette from Morphe. I got the Precious Metals from ColourPop. Pokemon from ColourPop. Ooh, ooh. I have the So Jaded palette from Kathleen Lights. I think I'm gonna go ahead and, and let it go. It's, oh, every time I swatch it, look at that. Then I got this palette from Cara Beauty Magic in the Air. This is pretty too, but I haven't touched that, so I'm probably gonna, don't swatch it, but, you, but here you go swatching it. I keep swatching the same colors. Um, but you haven't used this, so you need to just let it go. You have these colors. I'm going to let this go because I haven't touched it. BH Naughty Palette. Keeping. Then I have, oh, I forget. Juvia's Place Culture 2. This one is the Rebel Rebellious Nudes Palette from Color Rain. I remember using this. This had like a lot of kick up to it, but... Um, I'm gonna keep it. It's pretty though. This is the Wet n Wild Always Naked, right? Always Naked palette. Supreme Bronze. Keeping that. The Maybelline News of New York. Um, when I've used when I used it a long time ago, it the quality was pretty nice from Maybelline. I think that's pretty good, you know. Murphy Avani Greg palette. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this yeah i'm gonna get rid of this norvina palettes i know i picked these up from like marshall's oh so, yeah i'm gonna keep both of those But I love, like, I think they were so spot on with the colors. Oh, I got this NARS Extreme Effects Eyeshadow Palette. Yep, I'm going to keep that because, I don't know, it's NARS. Then I have my Pat McGrath Palette. Natural Wonder from ColourPop. No, sorry, Morphe. From Morphe. I lost another nail, by the way. We got the Icy Palette from Glam Light, and then this is the Absolute New York Color Play Palette. So I got all of the um, BH Sweet Shop Palettes. This last drawer down here, these are my bigger palettes and I heard a palette fall <laughs> in my dresser, so I gotta get that out. Pretty much everything in here, I'm probably gonna keep. Um, this is the Juvia's Place Afro Glatic palette. Culture palette, this is the first one. Mom bought this for me for Christmas, this Paris Hilton palette.
Heart Man Eater. Forget I had this. What does this look like? Mm, that's pretty. Then I have these Revolution palettes now. Oh, this Too Faced Natural Nudes is thin. It can go up there. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. is pretty, but I'm obviously I'm not gonna use it. Um, I do the reason why I got it because I love green and blue eyeshadows, but I don't see myself reaching for it. And then this one is the Reloaded one, um, the Ultimate Nudes Tinkerbell palette. So pretty. The BH Mrs. Claus the List palette. Like I said, I'm basically keeping all of my BH palettes because I can't really get them like that anymore. And it just gives that nostalgic feeling. My Morphe palettes is what I have a lot of. So let's go through these really quickly. 35R, I'm keeping this. This Mickey Mouse palette. Ugh, I got this on Clarence. <clears throat> I got this on Clarence from Ulta. I'm not going to use it, but it's cute. I'm keeping it because oh I could take it to Disneyland with me, but why would I take this big <laughs> why would I take this big palette to Disneyland? I'm gonna let it go. 3503 Fierce by Nature. Keeping that keeping this palette like this is the best eyeshadow in here. This one right here. The Morphe 35XS No Silent Nights. I'm gonna let that go. This is the big palette to the little one, the 35X Big Primpin' keeping that that's pretty keeping both of my Jaclyn my Jaclyn Hill palette still look good because I just never like went crazy over them like everybody else did I just was into other shadows this is the first one with the new packaging so yeah mine's not all beat up <laughs> and we're keeping the Lisa Frank like yes the 35B palette have the Beauty Bay Rich Palette, which I mentioned this in my video. We have the 3502. Definitely keeping that. And Beauty, all the Beauty Bay palettes are staying. This is the nude, nude palette. That's cute. I do want to pick up some more of their palettes, their bigger ones. And then this this one is um, the Midnight Palette. Ooh, ooh, so pretty. I mean, every single last one of these are staying earthy. And then this one is the Fiery Palette. And then I got this from maybe Marshalls or whatever. I'm gonna go. Ooh, it's pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. I have all those other colorful shades. I'm going to let it go. Because you don't use it. And then, here is another palette by them. This is their Bare Soul palette. Ugh. And I'm going to let this go too because I don't think about it. But I know I got this from Marshalls as well. Oh, sorry. These are my I'm not going to open all of these, but these are my Cara Beauty.
the final results of all of my eyeshadow palettes organized so this is the first drawer so this drawer holds like mostly all my beauty supply store palettes and smaller palettes are in this drawer it's my favorite drawer so i decided to do a neutral palette drawer and i love neutral palettes some of these palettes are cool tone and warm tone and then my neutral warm so i decided to mix them all together um but it's still given you know neutral so um everything is pretty much you know everyday kind of palettes you could even like tell by the packaging so this is my neutral palette drawer this drawer right here i can't open too much because it's broken as you guys can see <laughs> so yeah um i just have those in there for now but those are just some random palettes that i really didn't have any place to put them this drawer has my juvia's place some bh is all of my halloween palettes but i do have some Juvia's Place palettes over here. Um, and then I have some ColourPop. And then um, what else is back there? Oh, these are BH palettes. So I have Cara Beauty, Morphe, Anastasia, BH, Juvia's, and some Cara Beauty. Well, I already said Cara Beauty, but ColourPop, Tarte. Hope you guys enjoyed this here video. If you all are new here, make sure you guys comment down below and subscribe. I will leave my makeup reset playlist in the description box just in case you want to binge watch my makeup reset from the beginning up until now. And we are on number eight, I believe. So yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll talk to you guys later bye